Today we are doing chapter 10 nutrition, nutrition in general. Question C short answer type. First one, define the terms. A. Balanced diet. B. Malnutrition. C. Food. D. Nutrients. A. Kwashioko. Answers showing on screen. A. Balanced diet. A balanced diet is one which contains all the principal constituents of food in proper quantity so that it provides sufficient number of calories. B. Malnutrition. Malnutrition is the condition in which a person suffers due to an unbalanced diet. It includes both deficiency as well as an excess of nutrients in a person's diet. C. Food. Food is any substance which we eat or drink, and which contains the nutrients. D. Nutrients. The components of food that provide essential organic and inorganic compounds to our body are called nutrients. E. Kwashioko. Kwashioko is a severe protein deficiency disease usually affecting young children and marked by edema of the feet and face, protruding belly, stunted growth and other symptoms. Second one, give two examples each of the following and their usefulness, if any, in our body. First, monosaccharides. Two stone disaccharides. Three and D, polysaccharides. Answers showing on screen. One, monosaccharides. Examples, glucose, fructose. Usefulness, glucose provides an instant source of energy. Fructose enhances glucose metabolism and facilitates disposal of dietary carbohydrate load. Two, disaccharides. Examples, sucrose, lactose. Usefulness, sucrose is the commercial sugar that is broken down into glucose and fructose by the body to provide the energy needed for physical and mental functions. Lactose is the natural sugar found in milk. Lactose acts as an excellent, slow-release energy source and causes lesser tooth decay. 3. Polysaccharides. Examples, cellulose, glycogen. Usefulness, cellulose provides roughage for proper functioning of gut. Glycogen serves as a fuel reserve for the body. The controlled breakdown of glycogen and release of glucose increase the amount of glucose that is available between meals. 3 and D1. Write the important roles of the following food components in our body. A. Cellulose. B. Fat. C. Proteins. D. Calcium. A. E, phosphorus. Answers showing on screen. A. Cellulose provide roughage for proper functioning of gut. B. Fat provides energy and helps to repair tissues. C. Protein builds as well as repairs cells and tissues. D. Calcium is constituent of bones and enamel. It is required for muscle contraction and clotting of blood. E. Phosphorus participates in synthesis of nucleic acid, ATP, NADP, bones, enamel. It helps in muscle contraction and conduction of nerve impulse. Fourth one, a doctor advises a bone patient to include more of milk and milk products in his everyday food. Why so? Answers showing on screen. Bones are made of iron and calcium. Milk products and milk are rich in vitamin A and calcium. The doctor advises his patient to include milk in its products so that the bones and teeth get stronger. Milk inhibits the oxidation of vitamin A. It contains calcium that aids in blood clotting. Question D. Long answer type. First one. A. Uh, distinguish between monosaccharides and disaccharides. Number of carbon atoms. Answers showing on screen. Difference between monosaccharides and disaccharides, number of carbon atoms. Monosaccharides. The number of carbon atoms is 6. Disaccharides. The number of carbon atoms is 12. B1. Distinguish between Kwashiorkor and Marasmus, age. Answers showing on screen. 
Difference between kwashiorkor and marasmus age. Kwashiorkor. It affects children of 2 to 5 years of age. Marasmus. It affects infants below the age of 1 year. C1. Distinguish between tocopherol and pantothenic acid solubility. Answers showing on screen. Difference between tocopherol and pantothenic acid solubility. Tocopherol. It is soluble in fat. Pantothenic acid. It is soluble in water. D1. Distinguish between malnutrition and undernutrition definition. Answers showing on screen. Difference between malnutrition and undernutrition definition. Malnutrition. Malnutrition is the condition in which a person suffers due to an unbalanced diet. It includes both deficiency as well as an excess of nutrients in a person's diet. Undernutrition. Undernutrition refers to the condition in which a person suffers from poor nutrition caused by not having enough food containing essential nutrients. A1. Distinguish between iron and iodine deficiency diseases. Answers showing on screen. Difference between iron and iodine deficiency diseases. Iron. Iron deficiency results in anemia. Iodine. Iodine deficiency causes goiter and cretinism. 2 stone 1. List the 6 main purposes for which food is required by the body. Answers showing on screen. Purpose for which food is needed by the body. 1. Growth. Food is necessary for building new protoplasm or cells. This helps in the growth of an organism. 2. Repair. Food provides material for the repair of worn out or injured cells. 3. Energy. We obtain energy from food. This energy is required for carrying out various life functions. 4. Maintenance. Nutrients obtained through food help to maintain the chemical composition of cells. 5. Provision of raw material. To manufacture various secretions namely, hormones, enzymes, milk, sweat, etc. 6. Protection. Food provides protection from infection and diseases. 3. ND1. Why are proteins necessary in our food? Answers showing on screen. Proteins are essential in our food because they play a crucial role in various bodily functions. They are body-building foods. They provide the chemical material for the growth and repair of body cells and tissues. Proteins also serve as enzymes, hormones, and antibodies, and contribute to the structure and functioning of muscles, bones, and other body systems. In the time of emergency, they may also be oxidized to release energy. Fourth one, taking the examples of whole grain atta, fruit and green leafy vegetables, describe how roughage in our diet is useful. Answers showing on screen. Whole grain atta, fruits and green leafy vegetables are the chief sources of roughage. The benefits of roughage are. 1. It enables undigested food to move easily through the intestines. 2. It stimulates secretion from the digestive tract. 3. It helps in the removal of cholesterol and toxins. 4. It prevents constipation as it absorbs water and retains it making the fecal matter soft. 5. It simulates the muscle contraction in the intestinal wall, making the movement of fecal matter easy. 5th one, give any 4 reasons why water is necessary in our body. Answers showing on screen. Water is necessary in our body because. 1. It acts as a solvent in the body for thousands of organic and inorganic substances. 2. It is used to produce digestive juices. 3. It helps in the transportation of digested foods and oxygen throughout the body. 4. It is used in the excretion of soluble wastes. Sixth one, prepare a balanced diet menu for a day specifying meals for breakfast, lunch and dinner for a teenager like yourself. Answers showing on screen. Breakfast, milk 250 milliliters, 2 eggs plus cereals plus fruits. Lunch, vegetable 150 grams, meat, fish plus 2 to 3 chapati, rice plus salad plus dal 1 cup. Dinner, vegetable 100 grams plus salad plus chapatis 2 to 3. Thank you for watching this video bye bye. Please subscribe my channel for more answers.